What's up, everybody? Kalfka here. We've been blasting the PTR for like six hours today, and we've been having a blast with it. I want to give a shout out to the devs that put together the PTR because there's a lot of great stuff that is happening. You know, there's some stuff that I'm going to send up for some feedback, and uh, we'll get into a full video of that like when it gets like later in the week, right? We want to do as much testing as possible, but can you believe it? Within an hour of playing, this item drops the fractured winter glass. And I don't even know where you'd get it, but I was just in a hell tide and it freaking dropped. So we thought we have to make a video and just show off how it works. And like, I'm surprised it's working way better than expected. Like, I thought that it wasn't going to be as good as it actually is. And I think. Obviously, like I, I'm not like maxed out on all my gear and I don't have the right spec specs and the aspects and all that stuff because we just started playing. But I think that it is actually something really good. So I'm going to kind of just show this paired up and then I'm just going to show at the end like the gear I'm using. But you're going to notice everything just gets frozen and you could leave hydras behind because they'll just kill it. They'll just kill everything for you, too. So, if I could get my teleport down, which I don't even have the aspect where you get re cooldown reduction on your teleport. I'm not using that yet because I haven't found a good one. But, like, things just are falling over and staying crowd controlled. It is, it is fantastic. Like, if you press Frost Nova, like, everything dies. A little buggy here, a little buggy there. I'm I'm so happy I got to find this item because I made a video on like a build guide for this, and I'm actually using pretty much most of it. Um, I didn't find all the the higher end aspects that I want. I don't even know why I picked that up. Oh, to show you guys that hydras shoot out. So now we have three hydras. And Hydras actually shoot out Artillery Shrines too. And then they shoot out Frozen Orbs and Artillery Shrines right now. Look at that. Everything in this room is just going to be dead. And there's a potion you can get. I didn't even test the potion. I totally forgot about the potion. That kind of like gives you an Artillery Shrine. So that potion might be so crazy too, man. Like I don't even know, dude. It's, it's actually really cool that I got that. So we're in the pits now and like... Literally, I probably could have got this done in like a minute, but um, this is only level tier 27. I've done up to 36. I just just wanted to try a little bit of everything, so I haven't just been focusing on the pits, obviously. Um, and like the gear's not maxed out, right? So this is where you fight the boss. You do the pits for until you fill up the meter, and then a boss uh, spawns in here, and then these bosses will get harder and harder. They'll actually have like affixes too. Look how fast. Look, look how fast. I'm this is like um, the same as pick the gauntlet and uh, oh, I didn't even see that tornado, that tornado. <laughs> That's hilarious. What happens here? Oh, you just revive. Wow. That was funny. I, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. I've actually, I've been up since like 4 a.m. So forgive me for that death, but man. This build is fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun in the season with this build, and we're definitely going to try to make like something really special out of it. I will show you the gear real quick, just so you can kind of see. So every item has three abilities on it, and then you could put two uh, affix on them. And I didn't even put two affix on this because I just got this helm, and I haven't put two affix on it. But like something like this, you can see I put two affix on it. Um, and then the little glowing thing means that it got a greater effects on it. So that was on armor, which is really good, I think, on this item. The uh, the freeze duration is okay. Um, the cold resistance, that's just the, what, I, what I got. See, there's so many things that I would upgrade. It's pretty easy to find the three-piece gear that you want. You know, I feel like you could get, um, like I wanted, the only thing I want on here was attack speed over intelligence. But I feel like it's going to be pretty easy to find those three items that you want. It's just getting the correct effects on it. 
because it's RNG, so you it it it's random on how the effects actually get put on the weapon. <laughs> I fought Gregor once and I got these, so I was like, dude, no way. I got the fractured winter glass and then I fight Gregor and I get Isaac Briars and it just it just works, baby. They just work together. That's it's so good. Oh, so like you're gonna have to really focus on uh, like learn too. Like boots actually give armor now. Um which is different, right? So that wasn't the case before. I think uh, this could give armor too. You could have armor on your gauntlets. Um, got another greater effects on here with the attack speed damage. Oh, that was the upgrade too. So I did masterwork this to four and damage was the upgrade, which is really cool. So I'm trying to get this one to 12. I wanna see how long that takes to get to 12, but we're at six right now. And uh, the first one was non-physical damage. I would obviously have wanted Conjure Mastery to upgrade, so that didn't happen. Maybe I'll get it on 8 and 12. We'll see. So you can reset the Masterwork, too, uh, if you want to try to get a different... Um, we're going to have to test that. We'll make a video around that so we can show what that looks like. So three ethics on that. Rings could get so many different things. Rings could get so much thing. Like, look at that. 38 damage to Vulnerable. That's crazy. And then that's the uh, actual item. So we're we're using the Hydra build, like the skills we're using. We're getting as many summons as possible. We're using Fireball Enchant, and we're because this is better against bosses. And then when you're doing the pits, it's good to have the extra damage to when, when you're fighting bosses out. So, but man, I'll tell you what, like this 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 build is a lot of fun. This is something you're definitely going to try out season four. Um, I think that go into the, just the skill tree real quick skill trees are a lot different now too so so core skills are mastery skills it still calls them mastery skills but core skills are mastery skills supposedly didn't really get a chance to test that this is how i'm kind of building it right now i love that after you teleport you get three seconds of movement speed oh that's so good that's what i'm trying i'm sure there's some other things we could do to tweak it but um i think it's overall worked pretty good um I'm, like i said i'm pretty happy with the ptr on the first day there are some notes of things that i'm gonna make like I'll make a grand video about like the good, the bad, and what I would like to see change. So we'll, we'll make a video that kind of states all that stuff. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for everyone that visited the live stream tonight too, man. We had a, we had a blast. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and share this with a friend because this build is something special. I'll see you in the next one.